I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Okay. Yeah, I actually, um, I was kind of messing around a little bit, because I'm thinking about gearing characters. I'm going to be gearing a lot of characters today for Zero to Hero. Um, and I was really kind of digging into uh, Eternal Ice Shards, because I was thinking, hmm, these things are amazing for gearing, because what you do with these, you go to Bureau Marches, and you can turn these in for Living World Season 4 currency, so you can get your Diflorite and Mistborn Motes, which you can then go to Dragonfall uh, with Mistborn Motes and Sansweat Isles for Diflorite, and get Ascended uh, Trinkets, basically. And I was kind of doing a lot of the Bureau Marches stuff, and you know what? Um, I do not like the Bureau Marches Defend the Keep thing matter very much but i will say this for it um it does give you quite a lot of eternal eye shards because you open a million chests at the end uh, after you beat the boss so actually pretty good if you're into that sort of thing if you're looking to get some of that gear doing that event quite good actually not that bad whatsoever so very exciting stuff so it is now time to do kind of annoying achievement but it's going to be worth it. Idolatry gamers. What have we got to do? Find 35 idols and press F. What does it give us? Simple. Esger's Talisman here. 375 eternal ice shards and 56,000 karma for infinite ascended accessories. They are unique, so you can only have one per character, but... This is very, very cheap, right? This is basically nothing, right? 375 Eternal Ice Shards. This is easy peasy. It's totally free, right? Um, and this means we can gear our characters very easily. Stop talking at me. Dialogue, go. That's the plan. Let's go. Blish is carrying me. We're just going to... We're going to have to grin and bear it, guys. We're going to try and handle this on a psychological level. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to do it. This is Blish... HUD marker pack. Specifically, this is the reactive pack. Is what this is. And we will combo it with the sky scale to get all these idols. Boom. Done. We're already making incredible progress here, guys, as you can see. We're really going big on this. We've got two down. We're getting the third down now. This is where things are going crazy. There we go. I'm getting this eternal ice while I'm here. Might as well. And we're doing pretty well here. We're already 20% of the way there. 7 out of 35. Right. We're looking good. Uh, I think I already got that one. Oh, the really, really painful part about this is that I'm kind of messing up here. You can actually um, remove them. I'm going to make sure I do that. Basically, the, um, the marker packs are coded so that if you walk up to a marker and you press F, it despawns it. But I'm actually not doing that. So I'm playing with fire. If I happen to... Mi you can see that. I can remove the, I can remove the marker. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but I'm playing with fire here. This means that if I do happen to miss one and I didn't press F, um, I'll have... <laughs> it's really going to be really difficult for me to actually determine which one I've missed. However, I will note this is my own incompetence. This is not actually the fault of the marker pack. The marker pack actually thought of this. And they handle it extremely well. This is entirely down to my own incompetence. Okay, good. Very nice. Uh, I think... Are we done on this part of the map? I actually think the answer to that is yes. Let me go to the next part now. I think we're done. Because I did, even though those markers are still there, I actually did collect them. Uh, I simply did not press F on them. Do I just waypoint here? I guess I can do that. Yeah. Onwards! Okay, let's grab this one. I'm just going to do like a sweep this way. Like there is actually a, obviously a, a more optimized path that we can take. Oh, I kind of want to do the north first. Look at all those idols. Okay, there's the idol. Let me just press F on that. I need to remember to remove those markers. Otherwise, I could be searching for the remaining one for years. Does it give you hints on where they are? It actually doesn't. That is so evil. 
What an achievement. I will say this is not taking very long, though. So there are small mercies. Boom. Idol obtained. Okay. Next one over here. Idol of Jormag. Two more. There they are. Locking on. Ah, the final idol. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the last one. Boom! Let's go! Idolatry locked in. So, what has this done? Simple. Now that we've completed that achievement, if we now talk to Humble Stone, the karma merchant here, you'll notice that we are able to pick up an Esgir's Talisman for 375 Eternal Eye Shards and 56,000 karma. Uh, comparatively, I believe to get a Mist Trinket, we need 100 Mistborn Motes, right? So we can actually see how much we're actually going to be saving there in terms of value, but I think we're going to be saving a lot of... Um, a lot of content there. It's 150 Mistborn Motes and 4,000 Volatile Magic to get a Mist Charged Treasure. This is the equivalent item here that you can see. So how much are we going to save by picking up these? Simple. We would just convert directly this way. So let's see. We wanted to get one Mist Charged Treasure. We need 150 Mistborn Motes and 4K Volatile Magic, which is non-trivial, by the way. But take a look at that. You'll notice... This is actually three times cheaper to buy it directly with the shards uh, than by using our Mistborn modes. So we're going to be saving a huge amount and we're going to be squeezing out a lot more Ascended on all of our new builds by using one of these Talismans per character. Now bear in mind this is unique. Look at this. See, you can see here Esgizama, it says unique. That does mean that we can only use one of them, uh, but still... Not bad. And again, bit of a recap here as well for those who don't know. Eternal Ice Shards from Drakkar, Bjora Marches, Storms of Winter, Meta Event, opening all the chests all over the map and doing strike missions. Uh, for example, all of these that I have here, this is basically daily Ice Brood Saga strike missions, which of course are very easy, very accessible, and seriously, you get a lot of them. Like um, This is why Ice Brood Saga strike missions are just amazing for gearing up, because not only are you getting... The trinkets, right, with your Esgir's amulet, your Esgir's talisman, right? And, of course, you can get stuff from Dragonfall and Sansa Ars by converting your Eternal Ice Shards into the currencies into Dithrite for Sandswap Isles and Mistwall Motes for Dragonfall. You also get loads of gold. It's really good gold per hour. And you get the blue shards, too. And, yeah, I love how many... I, you know, I love overcomplicated reward structure. That's why I love Guild Wars, too. It's my favorite thing about it. These blue shards can buy ascended gear, weapons, and armor from Eye of the North. Okay. Yeah, not to be confused with green shards. Although, of course, you actually can turn green shards into blue shards. Because that's just how it works, isn't it? Hell yeah.